Now we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a striped background. In earlier versions there was a filter, you may still have it if you use an earlier version of GIMP. Under distorts it's called blinds, you can try that. I also remember that in very early versions you could use the grid right here on the render, detach the line width, and then increase the height, but the problem is that you can't really make it bigger anymore in this in this new GIMP version. So a different method that works right now with GIMP is to use a gradient. Open your gradient menu right here and then create a new gradient. Let me call it tutorial. And then I right click down here on this area and I use replicate segment. By default it should be two, make it four. You can replicate and now you can select these four different segments. Click on the first one, right click, left color type to foreground color and transparent. Same for the right color. So that's going to make the first segment transparent. Same for the last one, so left and right color type should be foreground to transparent. And for the ones in between we're going to pick a color. Let me make this the foreground color right here. Then right click on it, left and right color type to foreground, so without transparency. And this should give you a single stripe, and to left and right we've got transparency. And you should now have that right here under your default gradients or your gradient presets. Let me deselect it and you can see it's still there. I'll create a new layer, call it gradient and it's transparent. It's on top of my background. And I'll set repeat to sawtooth wave and shape to linear. And now you can see I can create these stripes using the gradient. So the right color is determined by my background color and the stripe color is determined by the one that I've set as the foreground color in the gradient. And you can add or subtract stripes by increasing or reducing the size of the gradient. And this is how you can create a stripe background in game. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.